So, Jared, we're talking divisional state, right? And I'm heading to Marysville this year, right? And uh, hopefully I make it to February this year, right? That's what it's in February, right? But talk about the divisional state. at uh, You're splitting sites now, right? right. Mm-hmm. So, so just give me a quick, brief um, synopsis of what divisional states is okay. in OAC and, and, and what the goal is in that. Okay. So two years ago, we started with the first year. It was just junior high and your, your division four, your sixth grade division. Uh, at Marysville, Sean Andrews and staff down there are awesome. They just they run a lot of tournaments. They do a lot of freestyle. They do a lot of camps. They just no wrestling. So we ran there two years ago. Capped it out at 550 kids. You know, like I said, the only two division. And it's designed similar to the high school state tournament where you have your we call it kind of old school class A, double A, triple A. So think baseball. Triple A is your D1 high school wrestling. You know, your double A is D2, and then single A is your Division three high school program. That's what so, the divisions in Ohio used to be in to, up correct. until 1986. Right. From like 73 was, mm-hmm. to 86, they had a three. Well, there was two. two there was only two in 72. 72 was last year. They had two. And then it was all one division at one point, right, in the yeah. 60s, 50s right. and 60s. And then, uh, uh, of course, you know, it's really tough to win, right? right? And then there's more opportunity. There's more divisions. There's more qualifiers, right? Yeah. That's what you do with that, right? right? And that's kind of what, you know, with our, obviously our, Regular state, the uh, OAC state, grade school, junior high, one division. It's obviously competitive as heck, as we know. But so this is a, you know, a way for those guys to see, okay, here's who I'm going to be wrestling in the next, you know, you know, six, eight, four years, whatever it is. So um, and then way for your, you know, maybe you're not elite guys. All right, now we're extending our season, and we have something to go down there and wrestle. And I'm not wrestling the same kid every weekend, right? Your studs are not wrestling the same guys. So. So that was the intent when we started that two years ago. Last year we added uh, fourth grade. So it's a little different because we do junior high and then we call it sixth grade and we call it fourth grade. Where the other ones, it's usually sixth and fourth, but it's straight age-based. So this is grade-based. Um, last year, 750 kids. It was busting at the seams. Um, you know, we knew it was going to be packed, and it was, it, was, it was a packed day. So this year we're adding a second grade and under and actually moving it to a couple of sites. So Marysville will still have the class AAA. And double A, your D one, D two schools, and then Hilliard Darby will have the um, single A. So um, they'll have the, they'll have the small school. Small school, exactly. So St. Mary's, the school you right, went to, right. would be single A. Right, correct. Right. Oak Arbor, Ashtabula, St. John would be single A. Right. Edison, single A. Right. Right. So on and so on. Genoa, right. Oak Harbor, right? The, the Swanton, right. those are single A schools. Right. And if you're looking like Columbus, single A, you'd be talking about like Thomas Christian Worthington, right? Right. right? Those are the small small schools, schools, right? So it's just like the high school. Barnesville's a small school. They're here, for example. Right. 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 Big school would be Mentor. Right. Right. Whitmer would be a big school, right? right? We can, if you're looking at, uh, it would be like Mason would be a big school. Right. Right. Moeller would be a big school, right? They'd be all class AAA at, uh, you know, Marysville then. Graham would be the middle division, D2, Mm -hmm. right? So if you're looking at the D2 schools, the Perry, Northeast Ohio Perry. Yeah, they're here. Right, the Perry Pirates. Yeah, they're here. Perry Pirates, right? They would be Division Two. That's it. just giving you examples, right? Okay, so I, I love the concept, mm-hmm. and it's more opportunity. And someone like, let's just give an example. Nathan Tomasello never won your junior high mm-hmm. state tournament, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? It's all combined. Um, ben Darmstadt never won your junior high state mm-hmm. tournament. Mick Burnett never won your junior. Those guys are pretty good. They're really good. <laughs> really good, right? We're talking about two guys right there. We're talking about NCAA champ and a D one All American. Mm-hmm. Right, Mick Burnett's a top five guy right. at 138 pounds. They're really good guys. Right. So now those guys have an opportunity to get a state title under their belt. I think it's a confidence builder as well, too, right? You know, Mad time, yeah, right? And it's towards the end of the season, right? If you're not the elite guy, you know you didn't, you know you're like, oh, cash. You know they don't want to cash it in, or they don't want to be done with their season. A way to extend their season, practice with their partners. You know, what I mean, you might. All right, I know I'm not the elite guy, but you know I'm going to hang out with them buddies. We're going to, you know. Get a couple of matches in in you know February. You know it's actually earlier than this year too. So it's uh you know a way for them to get some mat time and, and it's not the same guys. You know a lot of times you see those guys wrestling the same guys every weekend. So it kind of changes it up a little bit. Yeah, you know, so. I mean I remember Crace and oh, Demelio yeah. in the finals all the I time, mean, right? Yeah. So if you look Imagine at that, that always, you can and they would be they would that. be different divisions. Is right. my point though? Yes. Like yeah. even if the uh, Crace's right. schoolie ended up at Balfontain, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. He'd still been a Division Two guy, right. and so, him and Demilio wouldn't have been scrapping every yeah, week. Yeah. All right, here's the next thing. I think a lot of people confuse this with we're trying to build the leadership qualities, the work ethic, mm-hmm. the things that then you go on to the next level in life, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And you can do that starting in elementary mm-hmm. and junior high. For example, I was talking to Coach Bono last night in Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. 
they're flying all over the country every weekend. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. they're they're, ma they're mirroring. The yes, they're mirroring a corporate mm -hmm. like if you're a bloodthirsty capitalist corporate, right? Mm -hmm. And you're flying all over the world mm -hmm. and they're adding a layer on top of it. There's weight cutting. Mm -hmm. Right, there's yeah, winning. Academics, right, right, academics. There's all these layers that they've added to it. So if you're going to Wisconsin, you're probably you can you're you're ready to run a Fortune 500. Mm -hmm. There's no question. Time management. Time management, right? Like we're talking about all this stuff. Like we're trying to help people at an early age, mm -hmm. rather than like the Miller kids, my kids. I'm not guessing they're not going to be like the Cater brothers, right? Those guys are freaks. They won the OACs. I think that some people get really confused. Everybody just wants to be the elite level guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the being a, a divisional placer mm -hmm. teaches you a lot of things. Oh, yeah. Really teaches right. you a lot of things. And you're not discouraged mm -hmm. because you're around a 32 guy. And, mm -hmm. and I, got, well, I, went, I went two in Skidoo at the junior high state. Yeah. But then you take six, the, the division two divisionals, right? The double A, sorry. Right. Right? right? I think that's important. Right. Would you agree with that? I agree. I agree. You that's kind of why it's designed, right? Right. right. Just like high school, you know, it's the same kind of, yeah. you know, youth wrestling Ohio has expanded, you know. Every year, increased you know participation. At least we see at our levels, you know, um, and this is a good way to kind of okay. Here's you know, you know elite guys can still compete, but here's you know the mediocre guy. Okay, I can I can compete here. You know, I like it. So, I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm really excited to go and cover the championship. Yeah. Yeah. If, as long as I make it to February. Yeah, you make it. And, <laughs> and what you get to do uh, if you do a state dual weekend. So state dual yeah, weekend. So Hopefully we can pair out. that right. Yeah, pair that up, or even if you're coming down, you wrestle and then you go watch the finals that night if you're. A, uh, a parent that wants to see, you know, come compete, and then you can get to go watch the state duels at night, you know. I like it. Day. I like how you guys did that. That's smart. Yeah, so. Logistics, Jared. Yeah. That's your thing. All right, we got to talk about a couple other things here, right?